What's up guys, it's Talha here. In this video, I am going to show you how to model parametric walls in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and as you guys know to create such complicated designs we need to use in place mask. So let's go here massing inside and then select in place mask. Click OK. So now first let's draw the reference line. So go here select reference line and then just draw a reference line like this and then go to 3D and let's go to right view and now we need to create the profile or the design for the wall so let's go here and select this point element here okay you can see we cannot actually place this because the work plane is set to level one so we need to change that let's go here set work plane and then you can just hover over this line here this reference line which we have just created and then hit tab key and select this face and now we can place this point element here so i will place one here and then we will just copy this so select that copy and then just paste that to level one which is going to be the height of this wall now select both of these points and then you can just go here and click on this spline through points and it will create the spline through these two points now select spline again and then we will just draw a shape here something like this okay so now we need to copy this uh, this profile so let's go to top view And select both of these reference line as well as these splines and then we can just copy okay make sure you are copying this in the 3d view so you can select the whole profile if you do that in level 1 maybe some part of this you cannot copy so anyway let's go back to top view and then just copy from this point at 5 inches maybe let's copy more of this now select all of these except the first one because we will use that as a base to copy so select copy and then select the first one as a base and then click on the last one and then repeat the same so now you can see it's just a basic design so to make it look more interesting we need to create the curves on the front side as well so to do that let's just go to the front view and then we will create some curves like this so let's select spline again and then we need to set the work plane so say, click set and then just hover over any of these points and then it will highlight the face if it's not you can just hit tab key to highlight the face uh, highlight this face so just click and then we can now draw the spline so let's create some curve so we created this spline only to use this as a reference so we can easily align these points to, to this curve so let's do that select this point and then you can just drag that and align to the curve here you need to repeat that with all these points so I will just speed up this part Okay, so I finished aligning the uh, aligning these points with this curve and now we need to do that with the other points as well so first we need to create the curve so select spline and then set work plane and hover over any of these and then select the face and draw the spline
okay so as you can see i have created the other curves as well and now we need to turn these lines into a form so to do that just select any of these and then you can just go here and click create form and it will give us these two options maybe you will find these options somewhere else on your screen so for me it's showing here so i will just select the first one so we need to do this with the other uh, other profiles as well so select the profile and then create form okay so now we can finish finish mass so let's go here finish mass and then go to architecture select wall and then edit type duplicate let's create a two inch wall so i will just call it two inch okay and then go to edit here and then put two inches in the thickness and for the material let's select a wood material so i will see if there is any so we have this one so i will just use the same let's just make it a bit darker so i will reduce the brightness of this texture and then we can just click ok now we need to add this wall to these forms here so for that we have the option here pick faces click on this and then you can just click on these forms one by one so click on the first one and then And there you go we have created this very cool looking parametric wall in Revit so to hide these lines you can just go to matching inside and here you have the option to turn off uh, mass form so you can just click on that if it doesn't work you can just press VG on your keyboard to open up the visibility graphics settings you can just scroll down here and here you will find mass so just uncheck that and then click OK and it will turn off the mass and it's looking very awesome so that's it for this tutorial i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video